Arctic, a dataset for dexterous bimanual hand object manipulation. Humans constantly manipulate complex objects. We open our laptop's cover to work. We apply water spray to clean windows. We use our fingers to cut with scissors. We intuitively understand that inanimate objects do not move by themselves, and their state changes are typically caused by our hand motion. This understanding, however, is not yet the case for machines. This is partly because existing datasets focus on grasping rigid objects and contain few or no examples of dexterous object manipulation, and they do not study object articulation with hand motion. To enable the study of dexterous articulated hand object manipulation, we collect a novel dataset called Arctic. Arctic focuses on the movement of hands interacting with objects. It goes beyond static grasps, it includes highly dexterous bimanual manipulation and dynamic hand object contact. Arctic is a large scale dataset. It contains 2.1 million video frames of 10 subjects interacting with 11 articulated objects. Each frame is paired with accurate 3D meshes of hands and articulated objects. Here we show rendered ground truth overlaid on videos. Images in Arctic are taken from eight allocentric static views and one egocentric moving view. Arctic is highly accurate. The videos are captured synchronously with a high quality mocap system comprised of 54 motion capture cameras to minimize the effect of occlusions. Here we show objects in Arctic. We compare Arctic with existing hand object datasets. Our dataset is the first to capture the full human body, both hands, and articulated objects. It focuses on highly dexterous motion. Because of dexterous manipulation, hand poses in Arctic are a lot more diverse than those in other datasets. We show a teeth knee plot of hand poses in terms of 3D joints. Poses in our dataset are shown as blue dots. Here we show frequently contacted regions for hands and objects in Arctic. Hotter regions represent a higher chance of being in contact. Arctic has more diverse contact regions than others. We establish baselines for two novel tasks, consistent motion reconstruction and interaction field estimation. For the reconstruction task, our goal is to take color images from a video and to reconstruct both hands and an articulated object for every frame. In this task, we require the reconstructed meshes to have temporally consistent contact and motion. Here we show an example of an inconsistent prediction. Consistent contact means that the predicted hand should touch the same object region within a temporal window, if it is the case in the ground truth. Consistent motion, on the other hand, means that the hand object vertices that are in contact should move in the same direction in the temporal window. To provide a baseline method, we present a model called ArcticNet. We evaluate two variations of ArcticNet, a single frame baseline and a temporal baseline. The temporal baseline allows to join the recent hand object motions. Here we show the predicted 3D meshes from the temporal baseline to indicate the feasibility of the task. The predictions resemble the ground truth on the right. Our baseline is not perfect. First, the predicted object can still have jittery motion. Secondly, the 2D alignment for hand and object is not always perfect. Third, hands do not always provide stable contact in time. This indicates that our dataset is very challenging and there is sufficient room for future work. Contact is important for modeling hand object interaction. When two hands interact with an object, our hands are not always in contact with the object, but can be near. To capture the relative hand object positions, even not in contact, we introduce the task of interaction field estimation. For each vertex of a hand, the task is to estimate its shortest distance to the object. Similarly, for each object vertex, we also estimate its shortest distance to the hand. Since there are two hands, we have four interaction fields to estimate in total. Brighter colors represent smaller distances in the interaction field. We present a baseline method, interfield. We evaluate both a single frame and a temporal method. Here we show predictions from our temporal model. The prediction correlates well with the ground truth for the left hand and the right. We use ground truth measures for visualization purposes. They are not used as input. To conclude, we present a large-scale video dataset called Arctic, containing accurate 3D meshes of two hands, dexterously manipulating articulated objects. We present two novel tasks on Arctic, consistent motion reconstruction, and interaction field estimation. We introduce ArcticNet, a baseline for the reconstruction task, and interview, a baseline for interaction field estimation. Our data model and code are available for research.